sketchbooks. They've long been an artist's companion, but how is it that I use them? The difference between a sketchbook sketch and a canvas painting is often um, doing something else while creating in my sketchbook, whereas the paintings have more of my full attention. I may sketch to amuse myself or self-soothe, often just the joy of scribbling and making marks, rather than anything fully rendered. Of course, there are some happy moments when it all just works. There is a trend on social media at the moment where every single page seems to be a masterpiece, a fully rendered painting, but this is not that sketchbook. This is the scribbles while waiting in a waiting room, cafe portrait sketches, and landscapes went out, idea generating, little studies to understand what I wish to do with the subject matter, and childlike doodles simply because it feels good. Having a sketchbook is my way to relax. Some become paintings, but many, it's just for art's sake. The first one, I had a page spare to note down the measurement for the card stand for the art bus. This, I believe, was an old window that I just wanted to capture. It inspired me. I always liked the old window kind of, and that was when my setup fell off because, you know, well, you'll see at the, in the, at the end, it wasn't, it was balanced on top of the lamp, just about. So, take two, and this is the Harpy Eagle for Birdfest as part of the January community on Instagram. I'll put the details in the description. But this was a really cool dude, loads of feathers all over the place and it was a lot of fun to paint this little painting and I do want to revisit it because I didn't have as much time as I would have wanted on the challenge and here's another bird as well. Sometimes I just, it's much more accessible to do the birds in the sketchbook than it was to do on canvas. And I just love the ocean and I want to be able to paint the ocean better so I'm going to look at various techniques. And I forget what this bird was called, but I'll put them on screen when I find them. It'll be in my Instagram for those who want to follow. And yeah, these little snow bird things were difficult because there's a lot of white and brown, so I just drew them in flight. And sometimes I like to do minimal stuff and it takes a lot to hold back and not put too much colour and texture on there. And then this is just a load of little doodles of portraits and one was a cafe sketch with a man and his dog and various photos I found on Instagram with permission and then pixels for copyright free, which is what these ones were of owners and their dogs. This was completely out of my mind. It was a Alice in Wonderland kind of inspired but went off in other tangents. And then I'm really glad I added the colour because I think it really helps it. Turn the page. Could edit this bit out, I guess. And little landscapes, little abstract landscapes, which I actually don't know which way up they go now. I think it's this way, though, with the clouds at the top. I don't know, meant to be clouds. But yeah, a lot of shapes. And this is my favourite in the whole sketchbook. Yes, the eye isn't quite lined up, but I like how it went from pencils to having the acrylic and all the colour on top. And it seems to have just... And it is really nice textured effect. And I can wait to film this video, so I will be cleaning the desk after this. But moving that water container out of the way so I can show you the full picture there. Just a load of sketches of dogs or various warped faces. Perspective is difficult when it comes to dogs' faces, I find. And you know, this is my least successful in the whole sketchbook, I think. I just love the morning ritual. I love how you can capture like a really beautiful image. Um, there's some amazing photos out there, but I just haven't done them justice within the sketchbook. I ran out of room and the aspect ratio didn't really work. And while this looks like the worst one, the these have really taught me a lot in terms of I need more space, I need more a bigger surface to work on, and then I can get more detail in there. So I would say that those were still successful sketches. And then this was a sketch from Cornwall, drawing the harbour wall. Again, just remem memories really. And I didn't have much time for bird first. So when I was seeing the two dogs, Angel and Demon, which they have their own Instagram. And so 
the owners are happy for me to sit, share about them on social media. But when I was looking after them, I get to give a bit of company and make sure that they're calm and things. So I get to sketch for a little bit. And it may seem irresponsible, but those sketches were only two minutes each. And these ones were meant to be in watercolour, but I like the pencil sketch so much. I kept it as it was. And again, I kind of like the sort of feel and memory of these, even though they weren't successful and I just had a few minutes just to scribble something down for the joy of painting. These were from the portrait challenge. Again, I don't think these quite worked, but again, it was... Well, these, these ones had a lot of foreshortening, so I was playing around trying to get that a bit more accurate. Um, yeah, tricky. Again, more little sketches. Um, like I say, my sketchbooks are very much playing around and just enjoying the joy of mark making. They're usually not really intended to be shown, and yet here we are in the realm of YouTube, modern times. I had the other one sketched for a long time, decided to add colour, and then I created a mountains one just really loosely. These are from the portrait challenge again, just playing with pencil and the bottom one was just playing around with different techniques because I found that the pencils, you can almost use them like wax crayon and have um, the water react to it. But while it, the happy accent was really cool, the trying to reproduce it didn't quite work for me. And I'm always drawing Ralph, so this is him with his toy asking to play when the toy is actually intact because it's now a little bit worse for wear. Mm. 